Hello YouTube, my name is Rajiv and in this video I'll show you CentOS 7 operating system. So as you can see this is the login screen of CentOS 7 and to get the password panel you have to click and drag to up and you will get your password system. Just make your password and hit enter and you will see your CentOS 7 desktop. So uh, by default you will never see the main difference of how CentOS 7 is different from CentOS 6.5 which was a previous release. So if you go to the application is everything is fine places fine and in CentOS 6.5 you'll see in system panel over there but that actually from CentOS 7 they introduce here all system tools and all the settings utilities are integrated in application panel but what new you can find here is uh, activity overview so with that you can easily switch your workspaces and and just go through your all four workspaces and in previous CentOS versions uh, there was only two workspaces but in this CentOS 7 uh, you will get four workspaces and for application launcher you will get your window here and you can go and click on this show application you will find all the application on desktop and you will have this search option also there so let's see if you want to play VLC just type VLC and you will go with the VLC player so it's very handy very useful they recently launched that and uh, apart from that you can uh, go to my computer and this is new file system previously it was uh, Netulus and Tunar and in KDE version it was uh, Dolphin uh, but this is new file system and you'll find very useful very handy you can open new tabs and just play around with that it's very very easy and the search option is also very good in this like if you want to search your file related to uh, like I want to search a file like uh, Samba so it's it's very very fast than previously so <coughs> yeah uh, let's move to this side uh, we have volume panel pretty much same uh, Bluetooth uh, I'm using my laptop that's why I'm seeing the Bluetooth here uh, Wi-Fi uh, there is new uh, network setting for for Wi-Fi and other network connections you can see the panel is uh, updated and now it's very very advanced than previous one you can use at a hotspot also uh, the battery panel and date and uh, here notifications settings settings related to the user account and uh, the background and all the settings are previous almost same and the new feature which I can see here is this there's pretty much notification center which shows me okay one USB is connect with you uh, this uh, simple recording session which is going on right now and uh, these other notification uh, Dropbox icon which I can see here and you can choose your workspace from here also like any workspace you want to go you can go so uh, that's it for this tutorial uh, I hope you like the CentOS 7 uh, I would highly recommend uh, CentOS operating system for visual effects uh, almost all application can run very smoothly I use often use uh, Houdini uh, Maya Realflow Nuke and the CentOS operating system is very good and almost uh, all top studio in the world they are using Linux in their pipeline and uh, most of them are like using uh, either Red Hat or CentOS 
Red Hat and CentOS are basically the same operating system, uh, just a different branding. Uh, CentOS is Community Enterprise Linux operating system. So it's better to use it now. Uh, you want to uh, download it, it's free. You can download it from uh, centos.org. Uh, so let's say you can www.centos.org and yeah uh, I hope uh, you find this operating system interesting and if you find any difficulty related to installation of this operating system and the installation of any software in this operating system um, you can just uh, write your comment below here and uh, and you can see my blog also uh, my blog is you can find the link below uh, of my blog so yeah that's it for this video uh, see you in next video bye bye